Anyone with the Thrustmaster Warthog Throttle Quadrant will recognize this piece. It's the afterburner stop. And those of you who have been around Hoggett for a while may potentially recognize this one, which I designed back in 2016 and uploaded to Thingiverse. Shortly after that, there was another ED Forum user who designed his own version and uploaded that to Shapeways, and I think there's also a second one on Thingiverse now as well. But this all originated in 2016, and it's been a while, so I wanted to see if I could make a cooler version of this. U.S. Naval Observatory Master Clock at the Tone, Eastern Daylight Time, 14 hours, 59 minutes, exactly. I muted the audio here. It sounded really annoying sped up. There we go, exactly two inches. So here's my 3D model in Fusion 360. I've very slightly thinned the detent section of the model since making this, but otherwise it's the same. Here are all the different machining operations that I used. In total, there are 20 different tool paths and it will require three different tools. An eighth inch flat end mill, a 1 16th flat end mill, and a 1 16th ball nose end mill. Here's a very sped up simulation of what will be taking place. In real life, this takes quite a few hours, especially on small light machines like what I'll be using that require very light cuts. Speaking of the machine, I'm gonna be using a pocket NC five axis CNC mill to make this out of 6061 T6 aluminum. Here it's removing about 0.2 inches of metal from the long end. It's doing this because I cut the bar with an angle grinder and didn't want to have to spend a long time machining them to a precise length on the manual mill. This takes care of any length variation. Here it's doing the roughing operation on the left side of the part. This is where the machine cuts as fast as it can with not a great deal of accuracy or regards to the finished dimensions. It leaves a little bit of material behind intentionally that will be cleaned up with a finishing pass later on. I'd also like to apologize for the lighting conditions in this video. The mill is located in a part of the house that is not terribly well illuminated and the video continues on fairly well into the night. I did my best to illuminate the setup with some flashlights, but it still leaves quite a bit to be desired. U.S. Naval Observatory Master Clock at the tone, Eastern Daylight Time, 16 hours, 29 minutes, 30 seconds. This is the roughing operation on the right side of the part, followed by the finishing operation. It will rough cut the right side of the part similarly to the left side, and will also do the finishing operation on this side as well. The roughing passes were configured to leave between 3 to 5 thousandths of an inch extra material on all sides of the part. 
The light finishing passes will remove this last bit of material, allowing for a more dimensionally accurate part as well as leaving behind a nicer surface finish. And as a point of comparison, a piece of paper is about three thousandths of an inch thick, so the finishing passes are only removing about one to two sheets of paper worth of material. As you may have noticed, I've also increased the time acceleration at this point in the video, and I'll continue to run the fast forward portions at this speed, simply due to the fact that these machining operations take a couple of hours. U.S. Naval Observatory Master Clock at the tone, Eastern Daylight Time, 20 hours, 23 minutes, 45 seconds. inch bit for a sixteenth inch. See if I can get this thing out. There we go. It's purposefully designed to injure you. U.S. Naval Observatory Master Clock at the tone Eastern Daylight Time, 1 hour, 8 minutes, 45 seconds. So here it's doing the finishing passes with a 1 16th inch end mill for some of the tighter radius areas of the part and I've combined both the left and the right side finishing into this single sequence here. And it's tool change time again. Okay, I'm taking out the straight edge and putting a ball nose in. Alright, here we go again. So we have to change that. And with the magic of editing... And there we go. So in the software I set it up, it's got to stick out exactly 0.8 inches. U.S. Naval Observatory Master Clock at the tone, Eastern Daylight Time, 3 hours, 27 minutes, 45 seconds. And here it's doing the finishing operation on the bottom of the part with a 1 16th inch ball mill.
Look at that. A thing of beauty. Except for that gouge. U.S. Naval Observatory Master Clock. At the tone, Eastern Daylight Time. Four hours, 37 minutes, 15 seconds. All right, let's try it out. Here's our part. So it's a little bit snug. Might have to adjust that. There we go. A nice feeling stop there. Well, fuck. Maybe it just needs more power. Okay, yep. Um, hmm. So. Uh, I redid everything with a new version, uh, which in the voiceover I actually mentioned it. I made the, kind of hard to see here, the the little wing things uh, right there, right there. That new one's thinner, and so hopefully that will allow it to push over into the afterburner range without flying across the desk. All right, and here we go again with the, the new thinner version. So let's see how that does. Yeah, a little bit better. I thinned it out just a hair, so it's less of a snug fit. Um, and it's still a nice, good stop. And, yep, it goes in the afterburner quite nicely. It looks like it slides just a tiny little bit. Um, I don't know. I, I really like how it feels, though. And it's got a super short uh, transition range from non-afterburner. There we go to afterburner. It's just like the tiniest little bit of travel for it to go up that ramp, as opposed to the uh, a lot of the, the previous versions that I 3D printed. So yeah, that's nice. I like it. Oh, come on, focus. So there it is, the 6061 T6 aluminum five axis CNC mill <laughs> afterburner uh, detent, the push through detent. Um, I'm quite happy with how that turned out.